Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Kebab Simulator. Kebab Simulator is restore an abandoned shop and create a unique restaurant atmosphere. Design a menu, cook delicious kebabs, satisfy your customers, and become the biggest kebab restaurant in town. Yeah. So we're gonna be checking this out. This is uh this is developed and published by Biotech Gameworks, and I believe this is their first game they've ever created. So uh let's see what we got. This is gonna be part of our next fest uh, demo. Let's look at we will be taking a look at this. This game is not released, and it does have a re release date of sometime in 2022. No exact time. Uh with that being said, if you guys want to see this game come to the channel, like we've been saying all week, if you'd like to see this game come to the channel, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button if you enjoy this and if you really do enjoy it by the end of the video, please make sure to go over on Steam and add it to your wish list as well. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the demo and let's see what we can do in Kebab Simulator and restoring an abandoned restaurant. Now, I uh, the thing is the thing that catches my eye about this, it's obviously the whole restaurant part of it, but like building up your restaurant and selling to your customers that all just sounds fantastic to me as much as you here on the channel also know um, if you are new to the channel I would love for you you can hit the subscribe we would love to have you as a community and it would be great for you to join us okay so welcome to kebab simulator the demo version in this demo you can restore an abandoned restaurant and cook delicious foods press E to close want to know how to use the controls uh, rotate items by using shift R in the mouse I'm guessing wheel um, WASD and shift and mouse button, uh, le no, not the mouse button, sorry, the left mouse button, uh, for throwing an item. Okay, alright, sure dude, uh, let's get it. So, it's day one, it's 1200, I see a little bit of like, what seems to be like one in a chef up in the top there. $2,000, give or take. Uh, first initial thoughts on graphics here. I'm kind of intrigued, I am intrigued. Who are you? Hello, how are you? Very well. Yeah, all right. Uh, city looks pretty cool. Looking around, yeah. Here's us. I don't know. Engine? Engine? Butcher shop since 1976? I I'm sorry, is this us? Oh. Oh, you just walk right on through. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, enter the restaurant. Uh, this is the restaurant, yes? Uh, family heirloom? Or is that our restaurant over there? It's this restaurant, sir, right? What is this? Oh. Oh, wait a sec. Are we going to buy from this guy? Hang on a sec. This is our restaurant. <laughs> so I wonder if we... Okay, we get meat from him. Looks like we get some sort of, I don't know, Korkma's Green Grocery... Maybe vegetables over there. ATM over there. Another grocery mart over there. There's something highlighted over there. Restaurant under construction for sale. Very well. This must be us. This has to be us. Yeah. Uh, move all trash into the trash bin. Okay. Where is the trash bin? There is the trash bin. Do we just press and hold? Yeah. Makes a trash bag. Very good. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and clean everything up that we have here. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Restaurant Renovator that we played uh, recently. Let's not take the plate. Okay. We can also sponge it out. Okay, cool. I have to say, like, the... The graphics in this game is actually kind of like it's a it's a little bit of a refresher. What what do I mean by that? It's like I don't know. Like I haven't really seen these kinds of graphics. Like you know how you, you get the place and the assets and all that, and you get the same old same old half the time. <laughs> I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it right now. There we go. The one thing I would say though is like <laughs> the window is so damn clean and so clear that uh, let me take that. Thank you. Uh, that. I, 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 this is very hard to tell which one's a door. This, yeah. Like, that is super, like, I feel like I, there, there's no window there. That's all right. Um, maybe not a full-on window door. I don't know. I kind of like the bottom of the windows here. They have that little bit of wood. I'm just nitpicking, dude. I am. I'm nitpicking. Don't worry about me. I'm just, I'm just, you know, talking stuff. I just got confused with that door over there, now this door. But you know what? Other than that, look at everybody else around town. Everybody's walking around. Everybody seems to be uh, in a decent mood. No complaints. Doesn't sound like there's any voices or any sounds coming out of these people. Uh, and that's all right. At least for right now. Remember, this is a demo version. So, you know, subject to change, of course. Don't forget. Don't forget. I do not know when uh, this game will release other than it does say 2022. But that could also change as well. I mean, 2022, you know... Uh, 
there's delays that happen in the industry let's let's be real here so i'm not saying this game is going to delay i'm just saying there's a possibility that it could maybe maybe not i i there you go it takes a while to pick up a trash bag though you have to like click it a bunch of times okay so let's go ahead and grab the last bit of piece of trash that we have and then i'm assuming maybe like scrub the floors or something i don't know i see a build mode i see all these types of things what do we got going on here so new material discovered cleaning uh yeah okay yeah we could probably clean yeah hygienic restaurant is one of the key elements for satisfied customers very well let's go ahead and clean up uh this is going to take just a second i guess we're going to mop up uh five different pieces of the floor in here and we'll continue uh, as we go. Okay, just getting the last bit of our sponge here on. Uh, it does look like in the top right-hand corner that we are getting uh, a little bit of XP as we're doing this. So that's pretty cool. Uh, all right, open up the build menu. So navigate to the surfaces. Okay, navigate to surfaces. We have shop walls, which I looks like is going to be uh, zero TL. Um, maybe the money. I don't know. Uh, so what kind of color do we want to go with here? I kind of like the wood. Yeah, I'm always a sucker for wood. Maybe this is just for the demo that we can have free walls. There we go. That's looking pretty snazzy now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> uh, it might look very tacky. <laughs> That's all right. But yeah, so this stuff is free. Again, probably free because it's the demo. I don't know. There we go. There we go. But it looks like you can, once you uh, uh, get high enough levels in this game, you can definitely unlock two as well. Okay, cool. Change the wallpaper. Got to go into the wash closet or the... The, you know, the restroom. I don't know if it's called the wash closet. I don't know. Anyways, let's go ahead and navigate and go to now flooring. So what goes well with some wood flooring? Well, I would have to assume some kind of light, maybe uh, not wood on wood. We're not doing that. Yeah, just like some regular tile, I think, would go just fine with this. Whoa, look at that. Look at the placement. Does that go together? Yeah, I guess so. This is like a restaurant straight out of the, like, the freaking Muppets, dude. I don't know. There we go. There we are. Okay, with that done, let's go ahead and switch on over to the next thing. They want us to close the build menu. Okay, by hitting escape. All right. So, new material discovered. If you would like to edit, uh, to edit a furniture or a station in your restaurant, you can switch over from normal mode to edit mode. While hovering an object in edit mode, you can reposition, send to storage, or sell the object. Whatever you prefer. Uh, hit normal mode when you are done and press C again. Okay, so does are, are you suggesting that I switch to, or just like get rid of something? Ah, I see. So that's normal mode, which probably would be like the cooking mode. And then we have the edit mode, which is obviously for, you know, very well things. So sell all the damaged objects. So uh, this is going to be sold. Uh, that's good. That's sold, right? Damaged objects. This is sold. Sold. Ah, yes. And then that is all of it. Very, very well. Okay, so now it's time to add the new furnitures. Let's do that. So navigate to the furniture. We will uh, place two tables. Do we have two different types of tables? We have this table. Uh, we have this table. Now it says TC type 10 double desk. Uh, what I'm assuming this is just text placement. This is just a holder. Uh, this is not what it's going to be called. Uh, or the description is not going to be what it is when the game is released. This is just... Um, a filler in type thing type thing um, i'm gonna stick with the continuity of this type of thing now can we switch the color we definitely can let's find that same color as the ones that we have right now i think that was the one right there right yeah that was the one right there that's the one give me that one that does not even look the same no that still isn't the same no no that isn't the same it's a little bit lighter than that maybe just this one is that it that's it okay cool now is this going to be easy to rotate um, it's all right. It's not like a uh, snap kind of like, you know, oh God, it's not like a snap kind of rotation. It is what it is. I don't know if I want to put it like a table right there. Maybe I put it like a table off in the corner over here and then maybe a table like right there as well. Very good. Okay. Uh, let's go doors now, right? Or sorry, counters that look like a door, not a counter. My bad. And we just want to do a kitchen counter. Uh, hopefully this is the same color as the others. It probably is probably is it is very good keeping it the same no big deal uh rotating again with the mouse and not a uh not a key bind so that's interesting very free roam free roam as in like free uh you know it's not like i said not snapping to a grid or anything like that see how that's very uneven that could be a problem when you can't snap something right 
Uh, some people might not mind that. Some people really might really, really, really mind that. Of course, now that I've saved, is that snapped? Did that snap there? It looked like it snapped for there for a sec, but maybe not. Thought it snapped. There it is. Okay, cool. Okay. Interesting how that worked out. Um, right. Th does that mean I could have snapped that counter to the others? I don't even know, dude. Uh, okay, let's move on over to this. Let's get our new uh, stove here, which, you know, we had to replace. This is, I'm not too bad with these kind of things, like placement placement of that. Whatever, it is what it is. Very good. Sign board. Oh, the outside. Oh, nice. Look at that. You can do like a little bit of uh, uh, logos. I love it. Look at all the options, too. There's a ton of options. Go to the open sign. So buy a new sign background. Uh, you can have that nice dark one, or you can go with the wood one. I'm going to go with the dark one. Uh, maybe have a little bit of a border. Yeah, okay. I like it. Let's do it with a... Um, ooh. Kind of like, uh, the white is just too boring. We'll do the red. We'll do the red. We'll buy the red one. Very good. And then we put a, a logo on it. Add some decorations. Oh, this is kind of cool. Okay, I see. Yeah. Ah, signs, numbers, and letters. What if I said K? Oh, my God. This is a little weird. Okay. No, just, okay. K. Then can I just rotate that way over here? Okay, I really like the full customization here. Sign letter, I, and go A. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Okay, so there we go. We have cans, Bob. <laughs> cans, Bob, on the uh, on the front sign here. Got the little guy on top of the. It looks cool, right? I don't know. It, it, it's something for now, right? Uh, but that's really cool. I love the customization. Looks like there's going to be tons and tons of items that you can add to your shop sign. You can really customize your sign, and I'm all for that. Definitely, definitely all for that. Good job. Okay, very good. Uh, open up the restaurant menu by pressing P. We will definitely do that. Okay, so what we have here? A kebab wrap. So uh, add some ingredients or recipes to the menu via. So this is now the menu. We will want to have a kebab wrap on the menu. Uh, we would like to have some grilled beef onto the menu some lamb chops also onto the menu some meatballs absolutely onto the menu now look at this uh, it looks like there's like customer like satisfaction like ugh, i don't really care for that very much uh, now it does say simple grill simple grill and then brick oven is what is required to make these things a minced pita we will add that a simple kebab plate as well so what is that one two three that's six yeah so we need one more Oh, that was all main courses. Oh, do we have any appetizers? Any soups? Any salads? Desserts? Uh, I think they spelled desserts wrong there, maybe. Um, why, wait, six, seven, oh, do, what, what am I missing? Am I missing the donor plate? You idiot, you're missing the donor plate. Simple donor plate. I don't even know what the heck donor is. Like donating uh, meat? <laughs> Donated meat? I don't know. Okay, navigate to the soups. All right, so soups, tomato soup. So we'll add some recipes of tomato soup. So we will add tomato soup. Very good. So new material discovered, washing dishes. So when customers are done eating, their plate gets dirty. As you can imagine, other customers won't eat off of, the, off of that dirty plate. Plug the sink in, fill in it with water, then pour some detergent. You can leave dirty plates inside the sink. Detergent water will dissolve the dirt in a moment. Uh, you can also wash with your hands if you're if you're in a hurry so you can have it in a kind of like an automated system right or a non-automated system uh, maybe you can do it manually faster oh this is really cool this is something in a in a in a restaurant game i've not uh, seen so that's really good so take the detergent uh put it in there uh sorry don't don't like do that so there's the detergent put that down uh clean some dirty plates absolutely oh this is kind of cool this is kind of cool uh, you know what? Can I, like, move this? Is there any, like, way that I can uh, edit this? Yeah. No, no, no. Go into edit mode, please. Um, do I, uh, or, or maybe it's build mode? You can't do that while you're in the tutorial? Okay, never mind. Uh, go back to normal mode then. All right. Let's see here. So if I wanted to, I could just drop the, oh, God, drop the plate in there. And then over time, it will kind of clean itself, right? Soak it through. Or we can just wash the, uh, the plates ourselves, yeah? Look at the bubbles. The, oh, look at that. Wow, that was fast. <laughs> uh, we didn't have to do much of anything. There it goes. It's, it's all gone. Uh, we're missing two... Uh, sorry, we're missing one plate. Yeah? Uh, where is the other plate? Ah, right there. Very good. Very, very good. Yeah, this is weird how this is. 
Uh, but hey, they're, they're clean. They clean pretty damn fast. I don't know why you would even want to uh, uh, manually do it. Do we have to add a little bit more now? Or do we have to drain it? Probably a little bit more deter detergent, yeah? There we go. There we go. Very good. So open and close. So you can open your restaurant to... Uh, you can open your restaurant to customers by interacting with the sign. After you flip the sign, customers will be able to enter your restaurant. You better keep your supplies ready. In order to open the build mode, you have to close the restaurant first. Okay. Uh, all right. So look at the mixture. You can actually see the mixture in the bottom left-hand corner. Mixture 2.94 liters of... I'm guessing that's what's left of soap. Uh, so flip the sign to open now. All right. Oh, hello. I'm open. Wait for a customer. Okay. Yeah. Now, is this the food that we have? This must be the food that we have, yeah? Interact. Take the tomato out. It's fridging up. Very good. Eggs. Let's go on that side. Oh, mince me. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, hello. Uh, and take the order from the customer. Absolutely. Well, hello, sir. How are you? Good to see you. Um, I would like to take your order. There we go. New order re uh, received. So, check active orders in by pressing O. Okay. Pin the active order. Okay. Uh, take mi- Oh my god. <laughs> Holy crap. Wow. That is massive. Okay, so, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, this is, this is crazy. So, take mince meat. Grab it. So mixing bowl. Mixing bowl is the most important equipment that allows you to prepare certain recipes with the equipment. You can de not decorate. You can create dough, ground beef, salads, dessert mixtures. Uh, they spell dessert there right there, but not on the menu one. After adding required ingredients, you have to knead the bowl in to mix them together. Very good. All right. So let's go uh, mince in there. Uh, take tail fat. What the frick is a tail fat? Oh, I guess the fat of a tail. Uh, slice the tail fat. There we go. Grab the big knife. Slice it up. Oh, I love it. Very Holy crap. There's a lot there. Uh, add the tail fat to the mince. So there we go. Put that in there. Grab that one right there. Put that in there. There and there. Okay. Add some salt to the mixing bowl. Where would we... Yep, that's where we hold the salt. Put, put it in there. Good job. Put it back. Uh, oh, we need five. Sorry. Five dumps of salt. One. Three, four, five. I went one to five. <laughs> one to four to three. I don't even know. Black pepper, one of my favorite spices in the entire world. We need five of this. Why is the bowl like out of control? Please don't be out of control. All right. Now all we need to do is go ahead and knead it. Uh, so how would one do that? Uh, oh, I see. Knead. There we go. You just press and hold F. Yeah, all right. Got it. So... We can change it into a meatball if we wanted to. So take coal package. Take coal package. Okay, coal package. Pour some coal to the grill. There we go. Uh, take kindling. Okay, can I just put that away right there? There we go. Take some kindling. Sorry, some kindling. Uh, excuse me, some kindling. Okay, maybe we got it. Okay, both of them are kindling. Add some kindling to the grill. There we go. No, don't put the bag in there. Okay. Little buggy, little like the the the, the little things are bug buggy, but okay. Add kindling to the grill. Okay. Uh, sorry. There we go. There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now put it down. All right, that works. Light it, ignite it, start the grill. We'll get the grill up and running here. Okay. Take the shish, and then attach the shish or attach the meat onto the shish. We're going to make a shish kebab. Uh, some foods required to be baked on both sides, like meats, kebabs, etc. You should be watching over the cooking prog progress by hovering your cursor on the food. When the first red bar hits the half of the way, uh, you must turn the food other way around by R uh, while hovering on the food. If the food gets overcooked, you would see an additional dark red bar that indicates how much the food is overcooked and when it is going to be burned completely. Right. Whoa. Okay. Okay. So I just placed it on there, yeah? There you go. Okay, so we're hovered over it. I see. So in the bottom left-hand corner on the other side, you see the minced meat on going. So how many should we do? Should we do a couple of these? I don't even know, dude. Maybe I shouldn't get too ahead of myself. I'm going to do two. 
just to see. Maybe. Only says one sheesh. We only have one customer. This is actually kind of interesting because this is uh this is kind of like uh, compared to like other games, um this is definitely can we rotate now? There we go. Um compared to other games, this is definitely a more methodical, more uh slow pace type I say slower, I guess right now, slower type game. More of on a like uh, maybe the realistic side in some fashion. Rotate that. There we go. We're not done with that. Because you can definitely really see the detail in the food. You can see how it's like kind of like blurry too. That little blur is like kind of what you would see in like the fumes or whatever in real life. Right? So that's actually kind of cool. Alright, so I think this is done. So, now what? Okay, I think it's done. Is this done? It says place it on the, on, on the shishan to the grill. I, I think it's done, though. It looks done. Can I uh, detach? Let's see. Detach. F. That looks like a long... <laughs> long sheesh? We'll use this. We'll keep this on the on the burner. This might actually go, uh, go bad. But we're going to test it out. Because I am trying to just play along with the game here. Place the sheesh onto the grill. Okay, so after fondling around with it a little bit, the game is a little specific on what it wants you to do. So now we're going to go to the tomato thing. Uh, first, put a tomato on the grill. Oh, damn it, our fire just went out. Hang on a sec. Put the tomato on the grill. So we want the shish. They really want the shish to be right here and not on that part of the grill. Like the actual, like, uh, I don't even know what the heck, heck to call it. They want that on there. So how I cooked the meat was absolutely wrong. Let's be real here. But that's all right. Uh, first things first, let's get, get this started up and running here. There we go. Fantastic. There we go. Whoops. And then there. Oh, you idiot. Bring it back. There you go. Cool. We do that. And then we'll do this. Put it back. There we go. We'll grab the sheesh back. And then light this bad boy. And now we want to put the tomato on. Now, by now, like, our, like, kebab is very cold. But, you know, it is what it is. Okay, so put the tomato on the grill. So put the tomato. Are you talking, like, put the tomato right there? You are talking about put the tomato right there. And then I go like this. And then take a green pepper. Okay. Now, it, it's funny enough. I, I wonder why we're not, um... We're not, uh... Excuse me, what? Flip what? This? Flip sheesh to cook other side of the kebab? No, no, I'm okay. I wonder why we're not, um, like, cutting this up and putting it on the, on the sheesh. There you go. Okay. This is good. This is also good. I, like, pick it up bare hand. It's kind of crazy. So, plate the kebab with the side. Plate the kebab and side ingredients. Okay, so, we want to go there. Do that. Put the tomatoes right there. I mean, you take a whole tomato and a whole green pepper. I thought, you know, we would have cut that up. Put it on the sheesh and then had it like that. But I guess not. I don't know. All right. Let's serve this first dish to him. Hello. How are you doing? There you go. Yeah. Rock on, dude. I know, right? Kind of incredible. Uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> that was kind of interesting. I was kind of expecting it to, um, you know, to, to look a little bit better. That wasn't a very cool looking uh, dish now, wasn't it? Oh, well, hello. How are you? Uh, all right. Let's take your order. Very convenient to be right here. Let me just take your order right over the counter. What would you like? Uh, okay, new order received. Okay, so let's take a look. Hang on a sec. New order received. Uh, I would like to go into my menu real quick. Uh, it does not let me go into my menu. Oh, orders. Sorry. Not letting me go into orders. Okay. Uh, cook pot. So, new material. Filling water. So, you can use the kitchen sink as water source to cook your meals with. You should bring the pot under by... Okay. Basically, just fill it up. Idiot. This is actually could probably be like kind of done out, right? So what if we put our plates there and then just drain this out? Let's grab our sheesh. God damn, I just kind of had that on the ground now, didn't I? I love that that guy's going to town on that. Okay, let's, let's do this. Turn that on. There we go. Get in there. There we go. Perfect. To 1500. Okay, we're at 1576. We don't want to go all the way full there. Turn off that. And then uh, grab what seems to be flour. A flour pack. Add flour to the cook pot. There we go. Take a bottle of milk. I wonder if you can hire employees in this game. Okay, can't put that back now. Great. Um, I wonder if you can hire employees in this game. 
Like someone to pick up the dirty dish, yeah? Add milk to the cook pot? Oh my god. <laughs> the definition of adding milk to the cook pot right there. There you go. Take a tomato. This is all for tomato soup, yeah? Don't put that in there. Go like that, go like that, go like this. Slice the tomato. Okay, cool. Uh, this is what I would thought we were going to do for the kebab, but I guess not. There we go. A little bit of that. And then we will... Oh, sorry. Two tomatoes. They want two tomatoes sliced. Okay. Slice two tomatoes. I got gotcha. you. There you go. And then go at it again. Still got that turkey tail, I guess, or that fat tail of some sort. Add the tomatoes into the crock pot or to the cook pot. There you go. There you go. I want to grab that dirty dish so bad. <laughs> there we go. And I'm assuming we're going to put this on the little stove behind us here. Yeah. This is kind of cool. I do like this. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but other than that, pretty fun. Okay, turn on the stove. Let's put that there. Turn it on. All right. Take a cook pot. Wait for soup to cook. Very good. Uh, how do we know when this is done? Oh, it doesn't take that much. You can see kind of it going really fast. Uh, there we go. Flour. Is it done? How do we know when it's done? Do we have to mix it? Mix it? Turn the stove off. Okay. Take a bowl plate. Okay. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Take cook pot. The tutorial is like going a little too fast. Okay. Liquid transfer. So take the pot in your hands to fill uh, the liquid. Oh, crap, dude. Are we going to actually have to? Oh, my God. Oh no, this is this is a recipe for disaster here. Okay, here we go. Shift. Uh oh. Okay, shift. Okay. No, don't throw it. Oh my god, I almost threw it. Okay. You, okay, you know what? Try again. Try again. Okay. Bowl. This is a little wonky. Okay. Rotate. Rotate. I don't know if I'm like over it all the way. Here we go. Did I do it? I... Okay, uh, right. Uh, that kind of sucks. <laughs> what the heck was that, dude? I had like half a... Oh my god. I had half... Oh my god. I had half a second to pour the tomato soup in the, in the, in the dish. What the heck? Do I gotta make it all again now? Or is there something in there? says it's cold sir Th there's nothing in this bowl for you okay right all right well i guess i'm gonna make it again that's a little disappointing okay so let's go ahead and try uh round two uh right so oh my god the freaking bowl just flew off the freaking counter all right all right all right sir your sir can you sir the bowl under your foot thank you okay I want it close to the counter so I don't mess this up here. Okay. All right. Good. Okay. Here we go. Let's try again. I don't know if I'm like right above it or if I'm not. Am I above it now? This looks like above it. Yeah. It's like playing the claw machine. Okay. Now rotate. I don't know. I, 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 I don't, I, I don't know. I... <laughs> I don't know. Uh, right. Okay. Well, this guy left a tip for us for money. Surprise! Nobody took my thirty-five dollars. Thank you for that. Um, I made that soup twice and it didn't turn out to do what it was supposed to do. Fair enough. Um. Uh. Right. So I I think that's where I'm gonna end it at this let's look at video. I think it's a cool game. I I, I think it's a cool game. Uh. I I, I think. There needs to be a lot of adjustments that you can probably tell. Um, but I'm not giving up on this game. Absolutely not. I think this game is, is pretty cool. Nonetheless, just need to fee fix a few things is all. Um, you know, I, I love the fact that you can get your food at the butcher shop. I love the fact that you can go to a grocery shop uh, at the end of the day, I'm assuming. I love the customization. I love the, uh, like, you got to do this, this, and this. All the different steps. Uh, it feels good. It runs good. So that's good. Um, if you guys want to see this game, come on the channel. Let me know. Hit the like button. Comment down below. I'm very sorry to just, like, end the video abruptly here, but look, that, I mean, you, you, you see it for yourself, like, yeah. <laughs> uh, anyways, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, I'll see you, or you already know, hit the like button. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm a little bit flustered, all right? 
Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Do take care.